with the NPN uh, polycythemia vera for the JAK2 P617 FMPN is the diagnosis of exclusion. It's too, you know, ET patients don't get venous thrombosis. I mean, everyone in the population, I tell my patients, you know, we bleed them down. You're now down to where a normal person in the population might get a thrombosis. Your risk is not greater than, but people still get other things. Um, so, but you want to, that's the disease of exclusion. That's the one where you can do the most good for patients with the simplest therapy. And, um, and trying to make the white count normal or making the platelet count normal in patients with no symptoms is, is something you don't want to do. That's that, I think that's what it comes down to. And a man with so-called essential th thrombocytosis is suspect because it's basically a woman's disease. And um, those patients are more likely going to go PV or myelofibrosis. So women are going to go to PV from ET. They're not generally, they have a very low chance of going to myelofibrosis. So they're going to have a good lifespan if you treat them correctly. And I think that avoiding sanitizing the counts or getting worried because the plate count is greater than a million. If they're asymptomatic, the risk is bleeding, but it's never spontaneous. So unless they're having a procedure, is try to leave people alone. 